Hi, this is Rahul here from Tech Tutor and welcome to the channel. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to add the, the lead times, how to add the lag times for a particular task, and we also uh, looked at how to change the task interdependencies and adding of constraints to a particular task. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to add leaves and holidays to a particular resource and we are also going to touch upon how to create task based calendars and what we mean by task based calendars is there could be certain tasks uh, for example such as deployment and uh, deployment for instance may not follow the regular working hours you may want to you know carry out certain tasks beyond the working hours and this will require a new calendar so we are going to look at how to create those so to, to create uh, you know to change the uh, the leaves and the holidays for a particular resource you need to go to the projects tab and click on change working time now if you want to change the or add the leaves for a particular resource click on under under the for calendar there will be a list of all the resources on the project so i'm just going to go and ahead and change it for vishal here and add a personal leave and uh, let's assume that he's going to be on leave sometime in March uh, let's say from the 2nd of March uh, till the 4th of March is not around so that's what we have added uh, you can add as many leaves uh, or you know as many uh, days that he's not going to be available on the project so this is where we need to do that and we'll have to do that individually for each and every uh, each and every resource uh, that we have on the project so uh, that's how we you know we actually go and add the leaves for a resource the second thing uh, that we are going to look at is to create task based calendars and uh, as I mentioned earlier the example here is uh, deployment you want to have deployment done uh, late in the evenings not during the regular working hours so let's see how to do that again if you go to the projects tab and click on change working time you will see you know you uh, you have the standard calendar here now you can create a new calendar click on new create new calendar and uh, let's give the name for this as deployment calendar and for simplicity i'm going to make it as a copy of the standard calendar rather than you know create a, a, a new calendar from scratch so I'm just going to click OK uh, it has actually created this calendar deployment calendar and since it's a copy it also has the holidays uh, I'm just going to delete that and uh, now we need to change the working hours so click on work weeks and click on details now I'm just going to select all the days like Monday to Friday and click on set days to these specific working times so the example as I mentioned uh, let's assume that you know you could do deployments between 6 p.m. and uh, let's say 11 p.m. in the night and uh, okay I'm just going to remove the second line here so for all the deployments uh, or the deployment task uh, it's, it's going to do between 6 to 6 to 11 p.m. So just click OK. So once you have done this, it, it has created the task or the created the calendar, but the calendar has not yet been applied to this particular task here. So again, you need to, you know, you need, if you double click on this task under the advanced tab, you will see there is a calendar option. And now we are going to select deployment calendar one thing that you really need to do is click on always click on scheduling ignores resource calendars because it's you know it's very likely that you have the same resources working on uh, a task which is you know not as per the deployment calendar that you have created so you know if you don't do that this is going to th throw you an error so always click this and once you click OK you will see that for the deployment in production task the calendar that has been applied is you know the deployment calendar 
so that's how we uh, we create the task based calendars i hope uh, this was useful to you um, and uh, that's about it for today's tutorial and see you around in the next one thanks for watching